other. Lucas Marquardt for the Thoroughbred Daily News. Byron was a unique racehorse. He won the seven furlong grade two Woody Stevens in June of his three-year-old year. By November, he won the Breeders' Cup Classic at 10 furlongs. We're here at Hallandale Farm in Lexington, Kentucky to talk to John Sakura about Byron's first foals, now yearlings of 2018. You know, Byron was a horse of exceptional talent. He was very fast. You know, he, I thought his race in the Woody Stevens, Belmont Day, was exceptional. He drew off a one by open lengths. He then competed against the older horses the same year. He won the Breeders' Cup Classic. While there was you know, some legitimate controversy about the race, if you look at his race record, in total, he was obviously a horse of immense quality. Uh, he could win from seven eighths to a mile and a quarter. For a three-year-old to beat older horses winning the Classic, it's really a test of an exceptional horse. You know, he won the Haskell, he won the Pennsylvania Derby, he won the Woody Stevens, he won the British Cup Classic. So, you know, I don't think that there's anything about his race record that doesn't say excellence and you know a superior quality athlete. He's certainly well bred enough to be a significant sire. He gets beautiful yearlings. He's really a well-made horse. He sold for 320,000 as a two-year-old. Donato bought him, Bob Baffert loved him, both as a two-year-old and loved him as a racehorse. Legitimately thought he was a brilliant, brilliant horse. So all the right people have endorsed the horse. Uh, his, his first foal sold extremely well. We expect his yearlings to be really well received and his horse we're really excited about. Universally, we, you know, we saw quality. We saw them well received at auction. Um, He'll have a lot more yearlings to sell than he did weanlings, so I would expect as solid as he was selling weanlings, he'll be as much or more solid when the yearlings are, are sent to auction. So he's a horse that we're bullish about. We supported him with a lot of our own mares. Clients supported him. He bred in excess of 100 mares every year, which is a uh, you know a, a really solid support for, for a new horse, and uh, we're, we're looking forward to next year when his two-year-olds run. The, the Byron foals and now yearlings are very athletic. They're very balanced. Um, they really, you know, fit the picture from from head to toe. They look they look like they're athletes. That's probably the one quality that is consistent. They have good size. They have good scope. They move well. Uh, you know, loads of quality. And you know, whether they'll be early two-year-olds or whether they'll be classic type horses, time will tell. Certainly, in his race record, his ability was that. That, that, that he was an equal performer, either going short, going long, you know, one turn, two turns. So I would expect he'd get versatility in his offspring as he was such a versatile high-end racehorse himself. Now, you know, one of the commonalities of every horse that we, that we stand at stud is that we support them with our own mares. We want a, you know, to give them the best chance to succeed. We believe that our program of raising horses is, uh, you know, exemplified by grade one winners and outstanding racehorses that have been raised here at the farm. Uh, we hand select mares, we buy mares that we think suit and fit a particular stallion. So, you know, we probably bred, you know, approximately 20 mares to the horse every year of our own. We've had great support, you know, you know world-class horses like SF Bloodstock have, have, have bred very nice mares to the horse. So I think we have a good team, a good partnership, a good group of people that are supporting the horse. 